Hi guys, in this video we're going to be going through an optimization question and I'm fairly sure that this is we're trying to optimize or minimize the weight of a steel tank whilst keeping the volume at a particular amount. So let's go through the question. You've been contracted to build a 500 meter cubed square based open top rectangular steel tank for a paper recycling company. As the person in charge of the production process, you've been charged with designing a tank that, in order to save on transport cost, will weigh as little as possible. What are the dimensions of the tank that minimize its weight? Okay, so to minimize the weight, another way of doing that, and I think the only way that you're gonna go about solving this question, because we're not given any kind of weight characteristics of the steel, is to minimize the weight, we're gonna be minimizing the surface area. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a formula that will um, express surface area in terms of the tank's base, which we're going to label x. Now if this is a square base, this is also going to be x and its height h. So the surface area of this tank is going to be equal to x squared, so x times x, so the base, and all of these sides are exactly the same, so it's just going to be plus 4xh, because it's x times h is the area of the side. So there is no top on it because it's an open topped um, tank, so that's what our surface area formula is going to be. Now, our surface area is in terms of two different variables, x and h. So what we need to do is we need to come up with another equation that relates the two variables so we can make surface area in terms of just one variable. So we're going to use this piece of information that they've given us up here. And we're going to say, well, we know that 500 meters cubed has to be the volume. So we know that the volume of this is going to be x squared times h. So what we can do here is we can say that, rearrange it and say that h is equal to 500 divided by x squared. So what we can then do is we can substitute this equation in for h in the first equation and we're left with the surface area being equal to x squared plus 4 x h which is 500 divided by x squared great so if we clean that up a bit we're going to get this is going to be equal to x squared plus 2000 divided by x great so once we've done this, this is our surface area of the prism which we're trying to minimize. We have to then take the derivative. So we're going to take the derivative of the surface area with respect to x. And this is going to be equal to 2x plus, well it's actually, sorry, I'll do it in one step. It's going to be 2x minus 2,000 divided by x squared. Now I'm assuming you know how um, the mechanics of differentiation works in this case. So what we then do is the minimum of the surface area, or the surface area will, will be minimized when the derivative, the rate of change of the surface area with respect to x is equal to zero. So what we do is we set the derivative equal to zero and then we go about figuring out 
what x is. So we're just using algebra, so I'll write it down again. We've got 2x minus 2,000 divided by x squared equals 0. So we're going to have 2x equals 2,000 over x squared. Then we're going to have 2x cubed is equal to 2,000. And then we're going to have x cubed is equal to 1,000 or x is equal to 10. So we've just been able to calculate the value of x which minimizes the surface area. Now all we have to do is substitute this into our equation that we've derived for height. And we get the height is equal to 500 over 10 squared or 5. So we know that then, so the, the minimum weight will occur when x is equal to 10 meters and height is equal to 5 meters. I hope that helps with um, solving, like this is quite a basic optimization problem and I hope it helped. If you have any problems, just send me a message and I'll try and solve them as best as I can. Thank you and I'll see you next time.